Hi, this is the fifth and final project from the CS193P course from Stanford University. It's called Animation, also known as the Breakout Game. So let me quickly uh, run the project to show you how it works. This is the start screen, so when I tap on it, the game should begin. So let's click tap to start the game. So, oh, haha. <laughs> so what I did there was I clicked push while the ball was dropping uh, to create a random push on the ball. And uh, uh, this is uh, mainly because uh, uh, this was a part of the requirement in the assignment where you needed to create a push behavior on the ball. So let me try and win this game. So I won. So uh, that was actually a bit easy setting, so it was uh, kind of easy for me to win because the total number of bricks was uh, only six. So let me increase the number of bricks here. And uh, while I do this, let me also enable uh, some special brick behavior uh, that I created for the game. Right now we have, uh, there are five special conditions. Uh, when, I hit, when, uh, when we enable this uh, uh, makes paddle smaller, uh, special brick feature. What will happen is a uh, uh, special power will drop, and if the uh, if the paddle catches that uh, power, the paddle will become smaller. And uh, this one will make the paddle larger. This one will add a secondary ball to the game, and this uh, will create a hardened brick, which will require uh, three hits for it to disappear. So let's go back to the game and see how it looks. So as you can see. Uh, what has happened here is uh, it randomly uh, generated actually only two kind of bricks, uh, though I specified all four. But let's increase the number of special bricks so we have a higher chance of all these to appear. I'm going to lose intentionally by just uh, moving the paddle uh, to the right and uh, lost. So let's try again. Okay, so now we have all the special bricks. This this brick this brick uh, this is a hardened brick which will require at least three hits. This one is a special brick. This is also a special brick. This will make the paddle uh, smaller, and this will make the paddle larger, and the red one will uh, increase the number of balls. So let's try it in action. Okay, so as you see, uh, we hit a special brick, and the balloon is dropping with that power. When we catch the balloon, the power gets activated. And right now, what has happened, it added a ball to the game. So let's try to keep that ball up here so it will help us to uh, finish the game faster. Catch this, larger paddle, catch this, add ball. Let me try catch that again to add another ball. And uh, let me try to catch that again or maybe the game will end before it reaches. Uh, oh, that went a bit fast. Okay, one again. <laughs> so there you see, there you go. And uh, what else can I show you? I can show you that uh, we can also uh, increase the number of bouncing balls in the game. So we, let's say three. Let's reduce the number of bricks to quickly end it. And uh, disable the other special powers. So, what, so as you can see, there are three bricks now in the game. And as I move to settings, the game has now basically frozen, frozen in time. And I can uh, change these two uh, aspects dynamically and go back to the game and see it in action. So let's say we increase the gravitational pull and reduce the ball bounciness. Though uh, this will result in a in a game that's not playable, but still we'll be able to see this. Oh, I missed both of them. <laughs> Let me try again. So as you can see, it's completely unplayable because of the increased gravity and uh, lack of bounciness. Uh, keeping it middle is also not uh, very helpful because. Uh, because of the lack of uh, bounciness and increased gravity. So the best setting, uh, in my opinion, is to uh, slide it, uh, slide the gravitational pull low and uh, increase the bounciness. This, this makes it more playable. Right, so as you can see. Whoa, that's that one. So uh, there you have it. That's the breakout game.